Okay, thank you. Thank you for the reminder. And uh, so we will go to the tutorial too. Okay. So I think we couldn't complete this uh, question too. Okay. So we will see it in, actually uh, in previous session, I have done a mistake, okay? So I will uh, recorrect it here, okay? So we, are, we have discussed about uh, amplitude modulation, okay? Uh, where in amplitude modulation, uh, we are normally changing the carrier amplitude, okay? Changing the carrier amplitude CT amplitude with respect to uh, information and amplitude, baseband signal amplitude, okay, baseband signal amplitude. This baseband signal is uh, information signal, information signal. It is a low frequency signal, low frequency signal. Uh, for example, if it is a voice signal. If it is a voice signal, it is about four kilohertz, no? Four kilohertz range. So it is a low frequency signal. Okay. So normally in uh, amplitude modulation, we are changing the amplitude of the carrier signal with respect to the baseband signal amplitude, baseband signal. Okay. So uh, in A modulation, in A modulation, we have an envelope, or uh, uh, we can say it is the carrier amplitude. So it is a time varying function, okay? So the amplitude of amplitude of uh, AM signal is varying with respect to time. So amplitude is, a, if, if we take amplitude itself, it is a time varying signal okay so we can write it as ac plus mu mt like this no so this mu we call this mu as uh, modulation index okay so this is modulation index and it is defined as am by ac so this is the modulating signal or baseband signal, modulating signal or baseband signal amplitude. And this is the carrier amplitude, carrier amplitude. Okay. And also we said that if we take this mu as a percentage, we called it modulation percentage, modulation percentage. Okay. Uh, so if we get the total, so this is only the amplitude of the AM signal. If we get the total AM signal, if we get the total AM signal, okay, if the CT is a sinusoidal function, AC plus omega CT, so this is our carrier signal, okay. So if the carrier signal is a sinusoidal signal in this form, we can write the total signal as AC one mu MT plus omega CT. So we have learned this equation and this definition and this equation in our uh, last tutorial with with related to AM modulation. Okay, so you should keep remember these uh, three signals at least. Okay, so most of uh, other things we can derive from this uh, basic three signals. Okay, so uh, I have done a mistake at uh, last uh, session. That is when I define this mu, okay? So I have done a mistake there. 
actually i i, I have realized then uh, that mistake when i try so last day i i told you that my matlab program is not working at that time okay when i am trying to fix that matlab program i realize my mistake that is okay that is this mu we know that this mu is equal to a m by a c okay a m by a c so this is the definition of this mu modulation index okay so you can see that with this mu terms a m is already inserted that is a m is the amplitude of baseband signal amplitude of module latent signal okay amplitude of modulating signal with this mu terms this am is already inserted okay but uh, when we are doing the question okay you can you may be remember that we again insert this am terms with the signal in addition to mu okay for example in in our example okay in our example ct is given as what ct is given as 50 cos 25 10000 50 cos 25 10000 1000 t so this is the fc okay carrier frequency so this 25 fc we, we already know that 25 fc is equal to omega c okay so we can get this fc or the, this omega c no problem but here we are given the fc okay uh, this is angular frequency and this is a linear frequency now this is the frequency normally we call this frequency this is we called angular frequency okay so here it is a form of 25 fct okay our carrier signal this is our carrier signal and you can remember that our modulating signal baseband signal is given as 10 cos 25 what is the frequency 500 500 hertz okay this is uh, 10000 hertz okay that means uh, 10 kilohertz okay so this fc is equal to 10 kilohertz okay and here it is given 25500 okay so this is 25 fmt form so this fm is given as fm is given as 500 hertz that means 0.5 kilohertz okay if i write it in kilohertz 0.5 kilohertz okay so you can see that the fc is very much greater than the fm okay radio frequency is very much greater than the modulating frequency okay so in this example okay i write the equation so we are asked to in, in our first uh, question we are asked to write the total uh, total waveform huh? we are asked to write the total waveform okay so at that time we have write it as x total okay we have write it as like this we have ac 50 okay so i will write in general form okay we have write it like this ac plus here we have mu and i have put the am cos 25 fmt okay and cos omega sorry 25 fct this is the equation i write okay so what is the mistake here this am is the mistake okay because if i write the am here it is wrong okay because mu in mu already am is there amplitude of modulation signal is there i mean we define that am by ac okay so uh, if i write it here 
again okay so i will have this kind of signal ac one with respect to mu i write am here am by ac correct no any mistake no and we have an mt cos 25 fmt okay and cos here we have the carrier part cos 25 fct okay cos 25 fct i will write it here cos 25 fct okay so if i uh, if i simplify it further this ac and ac cancelled out and ac will come to here okay so we will get the signal as ac am cos 25 fmt cos omega ct uh, here in our example it is in 25 fct form okay like this okay so we can write this this is the correct one okay this is the correct one so if i get out of ac if i get out of ac if i get this ac out i will get a m by ac cos 25 fmt cos 25 fct okay so only this term is there and that term is referred as mu okay but in our uh, in last lecture so only mu term is coming here so correct uh, expression is for total signal correct expression is ac 1 plus mu cos 25 fct so this is the correct one okay so understand it okay so but in our last tutorial you may remember that I have put the aim here. Okay, so it is wrong. Okay, this aim is not there. Okay. So only mu term is there. Okay. So that is the mistake I have done. Okay. So I will show it uh, in MATLAB. So here, here I have write a simple uh, program to demonstrate the aim modulation. Okay. So this is not much difficult. Okay, everyone can understand. Uh, I think uh, still you are not done this kind of MATLAB program, but soon we will. Okay, so so I will explain it here uh, up to some level. Okay, don't take it as unnecessary things because this uh, knowledge of one no knowledge on this simulation is will be important in future okay for your final year project uh, etc you will need this uh, simulation knowledge okay so here also i will explain it okay here you can see that uh, i have take the am it is the modulating frequency modulation modulating amplitude modulating signal amplitude am okay and AC I have defined as a carrier amplitude, okay? And FC is uh, already, you know, it is the carrier frequency and FM, it is the amplitude frequency, sorry, uh, uh, baseband frequency, modulating signal frequency, okay? Modulating signal frequency, A FM, okay? Then I define I, here uh, I don't know, I couldn't write mu, okay? So instead of mu, I write i, and i is defined as a m by a c. This is the definition of modulation index, okay? So I get uh, some p values because I am going to draw this uh, waveform with respect to time, okay? So I get uh, some time value that is from zero to five, okay? Zero to five with 0 0.001 step, okay? So I will get 0, 0 0.001, 0 0.002, likewise up to 5. So I get some T values, okay? And 
if I uh, write any uh, function with respect to t, okay, with respect to t, I can write anything, okay, I can write anything xt as 2t plus 1 like this, okay. So in MATLAB, you have to put the uh, multiplication mark, mark here to t plus 5 likewise, otherwise MATLAB is not working, okay. So then what happened, he calculate, uh, MATLAB automatically calculate, uh, applying this t value to this xt for different t values, and uh, he get the corresponding value of x, okay. So, and he automatically save it in array. So we have some x value, okay, x value like this, and with respect to some t value, okay, some t value. So if 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 I give the command plot, uh, this is uh, the first should be the independent variable t, and x t with respect to t, then what he done? What he is doing? He is doing. He is plotting this uh, value, this x t value, this x t value with respect to different time given. Okay, zero, 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 three, like one. He plot, he put some dots value. Okay, then he just join these points. Okay, then he can draw the uh, plot. Okay, so likewise, uh, MATLAB can plot uh, this kind of uh, time domain signal. So here I am doing that. Okay, so you can see that uh, this is. MT, okay. MT is the modulate modulating frequency. MT, okay. MT is AM cos two five FMT, okay. And here is the carrier signal CT AC cos two five FCT. So in MATLAB, uh, this is the five, okay. So in MATLAB, you can write five as five like this, okay. Then it will get automatically in MATLAB two five FCT, okay. So <clears throat> here I have write the modulated signal. Okay, here, here I have write the modulated signal. Okay. Okay, so here I have XT is the modulated signal. Okay, I have write the modulated signal XT, this one. Okay, as uh, here CT with the CT, AC is already there. No? With CT, AC is already there. Okay. So I, I didn't put the AC here. Okay. I didn't put the AC here and one plus mu empty that is I empty is there. Okay. And here CT is equal to cos 25 FCT. Okay. AC 25 FCT and you can put the AC here. Okay. So this is the modulated signal. I just write it. Then if I plot XT with respect to T, I will get the modulated signal. Okay. So I will run this, okay, and let's see what happened. I run. So this kind of signal I get, okay. This is the signal I get, okay. So this is not uh, actually the correct modulation. You can see that, uh, okay, some uh, distortion is here. Okay, some distortion is here. I will draw it. Okay, if I give the correct value here, a is 10. No, a is 10. Okay, a is 10. Okay, and 50. So I, I put it in kilohertz. Okay, FC 10 kilohertz and FM is 0.5 kilohertz. So I put it as 10 and 0.5. If 
by so this kind of signal we get okay so can anyone see uh, can anyone tell what is uh, what is this modulation what is the percentage of this modulation is it the over modulation or normal modulation can someone tell is this waveform is over modulated or normal modulation yes very good it is a over modulation no okay i will explain what happened okay so you can see that it should not be over modulation no because uh, we get that amplitude modulation as 10 and carrier uh, sorry uh, the amplitude of modulated modulating signal as 10 and amplitude of carrier signal as 50 okay so what is the uh, percentage sorry what is the modulation index mu is equal to a m by a c okay so here a m is 10 and a c is 50 so it is 1 by 5 that means 0.2 okay so we got the mu as 0.2 so it should not be a module uh, over modulation no it is a normal modulation so if we get the percentage, it is 20 percentage modulation. Okay. This is 20 percentage modulation. The modulation percentage is 20. Okay. So it should not be a amplitude mod uh, over modulation. Okay. So I will draw that uh, modulated waveform here. I will try to sketch it here. I think you already uh, you may you may can remember that if we have a carrier signal like this okay if we have a carrier signal like this okay, and this is the we have a carrier signal like this So we have a carrier signal like this, like this, okay. This is our carrier signal, okay. And this is the carrier amplitude, no? This is the carrier amplitude. And this is the minus carrier amplitude, okay. So what is our modulation signal, total modulation signal? We can write it as, AC plus AC one plus mu MT cos omega CT like this. We can write this amplitude, no? Okay. So if I uh, substitute uh, this uh, AM by AC to this mu, I can write it as I have write it uh, previously also. A M M T cos omega C T. Okay, like this, like this. Okay, so uh, this is the modulated signal. Okay, so what is the maximum modulated signal? What is the maximum value of modulation signal? So this A M is the maximum modulation in modulating frequency. Okay, so so the maximum Okay, so maximum modulated signal is AC plus AM. Okay, so if I draw the AM here, this is AM and I get minus AM here. Okay, AM uh, length. So I will get AC plus AM and here I get AC minus AM. Okay, so uh, this is the maximum Module maximum of the modulating signal, modulated signal, and this is the minimum of the modulated signal. Okay, 
So if, ha if we have a module thin signal like this, huh? okay, we get the modulation signal like this, a m minus a m, we will get like this, no? Here and here, like this. And uh, in this side also, we can uh, get the same same pattern like this, no? Like this, okay? So this A, A C minus A. So maximum should be A C plus A, okay? So let's see. So in our graph, in our graph, what should be the maximum uh, amplitude? What should be the maximum amplitude? It should be, Okay, so for our, in our example, maximum amplitude should be modulated signal. Okay, maximum amplitude should be uh, AC is 50 and AM is 10 volt. Okay, so we should have 60 volt maximum, no? 60 volt maximum and minimum. What is the minimum value we should have? Mini minimum we should have 50 minus 10 volt no so we we should have 40 volt okay so if we see this signal what is the maximum module amplitude of this modulated signal it is 150 no it is about 150 volt so what is the wrong there so what is the wrong with this code so you can see that uh, this amplitude, this amplitude, we should get AC plus AM as 60, but we should, we, we, we got AC plus AM as 150. What happened there? This AM is squared, okay? So 10 is squared plus 50 we get. Okay, so I get 150, correct? Okay. Did you understand uh, what I told you? Here we got 150. Actually, what is the happen? This AM is squared. Okay, why this AM is squared? Because I put, I put, uh, I put this mu and also AM is here, empty, okay? So here also mu has uh, AM value, AM plus AC. And again, I give uh, another AM. So AM, AM, we get AM square. So that is wrong, okay? So that mistake I have done in this MATLAB course, okay? MATLAB program. Okay, I hope you got it, okay? So what should I do? I should remove this uh, one amplitude AM from this MT, okay? So I removed it here, okay? I removed it here. Okay. I removed it here. Then I will get, so you can, you can see now my, uh, modulated signal is okay, no? So I have maximum 60 amplitude, okay? And you can see that minimum is, we can see that minimum is equal to 40, no? So here this, this signal is correct, no? This is a normal modulation, 20% modulation, okay? So here I get the correct one. Uh, the, the maximum voltage or maximum amplitude is 60 and minim minimum amplitude is 40. So I get the correct modulated form, no? Okay, so if this uh, AM, if this AM is equal to AC, what happened? So this, 
this will touch the zero axis, no? Like this, okay? Like this, okay? This will touch the real axis like this. So, so if I put AM and AC is equal, so what is the uh, value of mu? It is one, okay? So what is the percentage? It is 100 percentage modulation. So I put AM and AC equal, we get 100 percent modulation. So we will check that way for, okay? If I put this AM and AC equal, I put 50 here. Okay, so what happened? Let's see what's happened. So you can see, no? So this, you can see that here this touch, here uh, our envelope touch the zero axis. This is zero axis, no? It touch and it is again starting here. It is starting here like this, okay? Okay, 50, 50, okay. So, so you can see that uh, we get uh, AM as 50, AC as 50. So we have maximum A max as 100, 50 plus 50. So we have 100 and my minimum 50 minus 50, we have zero. So we have minimum. So if I choose, if I choose this AC lower, okay, lower, then the uh, AC is lower than the AM, what happened? Okay, so here I, I get AC as 10 and AM as 50. So what is the mu? Mu is 50 plus 50. 10, okay, so it is five. So modulation percentage is 500, okay. So this is the over modulation, over modulation, okay. So let's see what happened. So you can see that now we can get the over modulated signal. Okay, here <clears throat> we get another small band. Why it happened? So I think now you can draw it. Okay, so why it happened? Because this AC is less than A. So when it go to the minus value, okay, it will cross this axis. Okay, then it is again uh, increasing. So here also we get the same point like this and here again, it is so we get this part no? we get this part this is the distortion part okay so that the, the, this part is the same one okay so this is the uh, module over modulation part so you can see that when it uh, in over modulation this phase shift here you can see the carrier phase shift is changing. Carrier phase is shift, uh, changing. Carrier phase is shifting. So it should normally it should be going like this. No, normally it should be going like this. But here you can see here again the phase is coming and then phase is shifting. So here the phase shifted is there. Okay. So when the over modulation is happen, phase shifting is there. Okay. So if we get again the normal modulation, okay, let's get the AC as uh, 100 or something. Okay. So I get AC at 100. So now my modulation percentage is 50, no, 50 percent because mu is 0.5. Okay. So I will get good signal, no. So you can see that. Here, there is no, the carrier 
frequency phase shifted phase shifting is not there no it is smoothly going only change in this envelope but no any phase shift okay can you see okay so here uh, so in power modulation you can see some phase shift in carrier frequency okay so we, you can view it phase shift okay Okay, so you can you can see a phase shift when in over modulation, but there is no any phase shift in the normal modulation. Okay, so get that idea. Uh, and one thing uh, I I would like to ask a practical question. So can can anyone pro propose uh, a way to uh, Direct this envelope. Any electronic way to direct this envelope? Using Arduino board or something? So, so we have envelope like this, no? So we have envelope like this. Okay, like this. Okay, so we, we need to only uh, so here the carrier frequency is there here. Okay, we have the carrier frequency like this. Okay, but uh, if we did it this envelope, that is enough. No, that is enough for us. So very easily we can detect this envelope. So if we send this signal to analog to digital converter, ADC, okay, so what it done? So it will sample this signal, okay? It will sample this signal, okay? It will sample this signal, and this sample will be converted to binary form, 10104, and uh, it can be stored in a RAM or something, no? So in a RAM, we can save this sample, okay? This is sample one, sample two, sample three, sample four, sample five, like this, okay? So using the ADC, we can get this signal and sample it, okay? And we can sample this envelope only, okay? Then. If we send it to a DAC DAC, what happens? This sample is again converted to a voltage level. Okay, voltage level like this. Okay. Then you can get the approximate uh, signal, received signal. Okay, so likewise, we can very easily detect this envelope. Okay, but if the distortion is happened, Okay, over modulation is there. Okay, so you can see that we also need to this. Uh, uh, we know we also need to find this uh, minus side uh, envelope also envelope part. So we couldn't do it through uh, ADC because ADC only get plus value. Okay, so if the over modulation is there, sometimes it is hard to reconstruct the signal. Okay. But we can develop uh, electronics, okay, to get that signal sometime, okay. But it is somewhat complex, okay. So normally, we should choose yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, within this week, I will upload, okay. I will upload. Don't worry, okay. So this is the so this is the concept of modulation. So I think you get the idea, and we I think we have to find this one. Okay. So total power also you have to change. Okay. Because uh, total power we find the total power. Okay. So I think uh, you can remember that we have our XP signal. Okay. 
XT signal carrier part plus omega CT and we have uh, uh, two side band okay AC mu at that time I have put the aim here okay that is the mistake I have done was omega uh, omega minus plus omega c plus omega m plus a c mu a m by two cos omega c minus omega n so uh, we get that cos alpha than a beta alpha plus beta and cos alpha minus beta and put this identity to, to that uh, total signal and get this value, no? this, we get this expression, okay? I think you can remember it, okay? But here I have put AM, that is wrong, okay? So this AM is, AM should not be there, okay? AM should not be there, okay? So I think uh, you can remember that we have evaluated the power of these uh, three signal, okay this signal and this signal and this signal so we have used that power signal so this is the carrier signal and we have evaluated the carrier power using that identity t naught this t naught is a, a fundamental period and you have uh, some signal xt zero to t naught dt likewise we can evaluate the power okay for sinusoidal signal, uh, when we evaluate this integral, 0 to t naught, AC plus omega CT, I think you can remember that we get AC square by 2. So this is the power. So AC is 50 volt. So we, what we get 50 square by 2. This is the carrier power. It is correct. Okay. But uh, we have evaluated the sideband. Uh, power okay so these are also cost function so if we write this you can see that zero to t naught here ac mu by two cos omega c plus omega m t okay so t is here omega c plus omega m so if we consider this omega c plus omega m as omega naught okay so this is kind of omega naught t function okay so again, we will have square of amplitude by two, okay? So we have, this is the amplitude, AC mu by two square, okay? So at that time I have put AM also here, that is wrong, okay? So this mu is equal to AM by AC definition. So AC, AC canceled out, okay? So you will get, this two is the square, then it is four, and four by two it is eight, and you will get a m square. Okay, so this is the uh, side band, one side band signal. So a m is hundred, so you can find that value. And the second side band is, it is also same. We can get this uh, signal a c mu square by two. Okay, so mu is equal to AM by AC, AC, AC cancel out, only AM is there. And here it is four, four by two, it is eight. So we will get AM is square by eight. Okay, so this is the second side band signal. So total side band, you will get AC is square by two, AM is square by, AM is square by eight, AM is square by eight. So you will get AM is square by four. So this is the, total power, okay? So uh, another important point you can note here. So what is the carrier power here? Carrier is, carrier power is 502 by two. That means uh, 2,500 watt, no? This is the carrier power, correct? Okay, so what is the sideband power? So this is the carrier power, carrier signal power. 
what is the sideband power? It is AM is 100, no? So AM is 10, 10 to the square by 2. Okay, so we get 50 volt. So this is the sideband power. So what do you can notice here? This carrier power is ex extremely high, no? This carrier power is extremely high with compared to this uh, sideband. Okay. So if we have a method to uh, regenerate the signal only with this sideband, okay, only with this sideband, so it will be it will be uh, it will be a great uh, benefit no we can save much power if we can if we can regenerate the signal only using this sideband without this uh, carrier signal so it will be a uh, very very big benefit okay because we can uh, use very low power consumption Okay, so here the transmit for the transmission and receiver, you have to use uh, high power. Okay, but if we suppress this carrier, if we uh, remove this carrier somehow, and if we can get the signal, get the get our message signal only from this sideband, so it will be a very benefit. No, so keep that point in reminder in next. Uh, question we will see a method to suppress this carrier and get only the sideband and to transmit it okay so we will see it later okay so you can note that one okay that is why i put that uh, question to note down this okay the power consumption okay so we will uh, then we have to evaluate the uh, spectrum spectrum of am signal spectrum of am signal okay uh, so we have evaluated it already but uh, we couldn't draw the spectrum no so i will quickly tell okay i will quickly tell you so <clears throat> uh, so you can remember that we have our total signal, total signal as, I will write the general, general equation, AC cos omega CT plus AC mu by two cos omega C plus omega M T plus AC mu by two cos omega C minus omega M. Okay, so this is the time domain signal, time domain AM signal. Okay, AM signal. So to find the frequency spectrum, we have to convert this time domain signal into frequency domain. Okay. So uh, the tool we can use is the Fourier transform. Okay, so we have to use the Fourier transform here. So you have to get the Fourier transform of this XT. Okay, this XT, let's say it is capital X omega. Okay. Then you have to find the Fourier transform of each of these signal. No, this signal. Okay, this signal. So you can remember that uh, we have evaluate if we have a cos signal, cos omega naught t, this kind of signal, Fourier transform is, Fourier transform is phi delta omega minus omega naught plus phi delta omega plus omega naught this kind okay 
correct? So we have uh, solved this. Okay, we have proved this in our last tutorial. So this, you can write these terms with respect to uh, uh, with respect to exponential terms. Okay, and you can find the uh, Fourier transform of each of this exponential form. Okay, so you will get. Uh, so here half is there. Half should be come here, no? Yeah, half should be come here. Let me check it. So last time I think we have done this, okay? So let me check, check, check. Here we have a Sonica FD. No, only five, no? not half. Okay, not half is there, only five. Yes, only five, because uh, uh, we use uh, frequency shifting property and two five term is there. You can see the two five term is there. So to five and this half is cancelled and only we get this five, okay? Five uh, distance, five delta omega plus omega naught and omega minus omega naught, okay? Correct, okay? So last time we have derived this, okay? We have derived this last time, okay? So I write it again. Okay. So if we have if we have a signal plus omega naught t form, if we get the Fourier transform, we get phi delta omega minus omega naught plus phi delta omega plus omega naught. Okay. So last time we proved this. Okay. Uh, so you we, we will directly apply to this uh, this identity to here okay so if we uh, get this section okay so fourier transform of ac cos omega ct that is the fourier transform of carrier part no fourier transform of carrier signal okay fourier transform of carrier signal then i will get it as okay so you see here we have ac and phi delta omega minus so here omega naught is equal to omega c no so omega c plus ac phi delta omega plus omega c okay so this is the fourier transform of carrier part Okay, this is the Fourier transform of carrier part. Okay, so you can remember that if we have, if it is omega, if the delta omega is like, like this, this is zero, delta omega function is like this, this is a unit step function. And if you have delta omega minus omega naught, okay, that is a shifted, and minus means it is shifting to this way by omega naught. So you will get this kind of function, okay? This is for delta omega minus omega naught. And if you have plus here, it is shifted to this way by omega naught, okay? So you will get delta omega plus omega naught. So these are also, I think you have learned in uh, signal and system time shifting, uh, it is called uh, 
time manipulating, time manipulating techniques or independent variable transformation or time transformation. This kind of word uh, I think you have learned in signal and system. Okay, so we can uh, write this uh, shifted signal like this. Okay, so this is the carrier part. Okay, and if we get one side band, if we get one side band, if we get one side band, okay. So if we get the Fourier transform of that side band, okay, Fourier transform of that side band, let's say it is side band one, okay, side band one frequency domain signal, okay. So we will have the same thing because first first term is there, okay. So here we have AC mu by two, okay. Cos omega c omega m. Okay, so it is cos omega naught t type. Now this omega naught is equal to omega c plus omega m. Omega m, omega t is equal to omega c plus omega m. No, so we have get a c mu by two delta omega minus omega naught. Omega naught means omega c plus omega m. Omega C plus Omega M. Okay, and plus AC mu by two delta here Omega plus Omega naught, Omega plus Omega naught, but our Omega naught equal to Omega C plus Omega M. So we have Omega plus Omega C plus Omega M. Correct. So this is the Fourier transform of one side band. Okay. If we get other side band also, Fourier transform of side band two. Okay. Side band two. We will get the same equation. AC. We will get the same form, not equation. Same form. So here. Here omega c plus omega m. Now omega c plus omega m. So now omega naught t is equal to omega c minus omega m. Okay. Omega naught t is equal to omega c minus omega m for this term. Okay. Because here it is t. Omega c minus omega m t. So this is the omega naught. Okay. Omega c minus omega m. So I can uh, substitute this value here also. Okay, so I will get omega minus now omega c minus omega m, no? Omega c minus omega m plus AC mu by 2 delta. Okay, omega plus eh? omega c minus omega m. Omega C minus Omega A, correct? Okay. So if you want to get the total spectrum of the total modulated signal, what you have to do? You have to separately at these three terms, this three terms, the frequency, uh, yeah, yeah, this F, we can't put the F here, okay? This is only x omega, okay, x c omega, okay. And Fourier transform of x is t1 t, it should be in this form, okay. This only a notation problem, okay. And here also we can't write the f, okay, because already I tried it in frequency domain, omega, okay. So if we get these three terms, one, two, three turns, we have X. So carrier uh, signal uh, frequency domain uh, representation plus first sideband 
frequency domain signal plus second sideband frequency domain signal and all these three we have right okay so this is our uh, carrier frequency domain signal this is our first sideband frequency domain signal and this is our second sideband frequency domain signal so if you add this three we can get the complete uh, frequency domain signal then we are asked to draw the frequency spectrum so very easily we can draw it okay very easily draw it so we are asked to find the draw the frequency spectrum okay so this is with respect to omega our independent variable is omega okay and let's say this is zero point okay this is zero point okay so first i consider the carrier carrier signal this one and this one so i have ac5 delta omega minus omega c so this delta function is shifted by omega c to this direction to this direction no? so if i mark here omega c so i will get that component no so this is two sorry ac5 this is ac5 okay so in the previous session also i told you that this ac5 is not the height okay it is not this height it is the uh, area of this impulse it is the area of this impulse so if you can remember the signal and system fairly you can uh, you can remember it okay you should remember it ac5 this is the this is the area of this impulse function okay and if we write this terms it is omega plus omega c that means omega c is shifted to this way so here also we have AC5. So this is omega C, okay? Omega C. And here also we have omega C shifted to this way, okay? And here it is AC5, okay? Right. Then I try to draw. So we have complete this one. We have right tower uh, carrier part. Now we have one, two side band. Okay, so let's see first side band, this one. Okay, so I consider this part. Okay, so here mu is equal to AM by AC. Okay, AM by AC by definition. So AC, AC cancel out. So I will get only AM by two. Here also I get AM by two. Here also I get AM by two. Here also I get a m by two, okay, correct? Yes, so okay. Let's see. So here a m by two five. No, five is there. No? I should be here. No, I didn't didn't write the five. No, so I, I have done a mistake. So five should be here. Okay, this five, this five should be there. Okay, and here also five is here. And here also phi should be here. Okay. So here you have delta minus omega c plus omega n. So for this terms, it is shifted to this way by omega c plus omega m. Okay, omega c plus omega m shifted to this way. So I write this part. If I write this part, if I draw this part, okay. So it is shifted to this way, omega c plus omega m terms. No? So if I get omega m length here from this omega c, okay, so this point will be omega m plus omega c, correct? Okay, omega m plus omega c. If I get omega m length here, it will get omega m plus omega c, okay? So what is the area? It is AM5 by 2. Okay. So that area is 
a m pi by 2 a m pi by 2 so you can see this area is less than this area greater than this area so i draw this little uh, small okay so i i draw this impasse in little in, in small okay so a m pi by 2 okay so that is this part so if we consider this part what happened it is omega c plus omega n so it is shifted to here by omega c plus omega n okay so it is shifted to this way so in same manner if i get uh, another omega m distance here so this point will be omega c plus omega m in minus side okay so it will get this kind of impulse am pi by 2 okay so now the side band also complete no so this one also complete then we have to go to the this go to second side band go to the second side band so if i consider this term you can see omega c minus omega m shifted to this side okay so in the same manner if i get another omega m to this side okay another omega m to this side what is this point it will be omega c minus omega m no? this is omega c and i get omega m here from this side and that point will be omega c minus omega m so that impulse is here no so this impulse is here okay this impulse is here it is am pi by 2 okay and in same manner if you consider this impulse okay it is omega c minus omega m shifted to this way okay so if i get uh, omega m distance here this side and this point will be omega c minus omega m okay and here is the this impulse no it is ac pi by 2 okay so this is carrier uh, carrier frequency domain representation and this is the second sideband representation and this is the first sideband representation so total spectrum we will get like this okay okay so this is our total spectrum. Okay. So this is a total spectrum. Yes. So next, what is the question? So we are asked to what is the transmission bandwidth, okay? What is the transmission bandwidth? Okay, normally, uh, normally sometime you can see that we normally don't consider this part. This minus frequency spectrum, minus frequency spectrum, sometime we uh, don't, uh, consider we only consider this part plus frequency domain because in uh, uh, spectrum analyzer spectrum analyzer analyzer you can on, you could only see this uh, see this spectrum okay so what is the frequency uh, spectrum analyzer I think uh, you already know spectrum analyzer, no? I hope uh, you have used it. Did you use spectrum analyzer? You have used oscilloscope, no? Oscilloscope.
Haven't you used this oscilloscope? I, I am sure that you have used the oscilloscope. In our lab, we have oscilloscope. Ne? Two types of oscilloscope we have digital oscilloscope and cathode ray oscilloscope, digital storage oscilloscope and cathode ray oscilloscope. So, here uh, this is used to uh, observe the time domain signal waveform. Okay. So, oscilloscope we can use to observe the time domain signal that is waveform okay time domain signal is the waveform we can find the waveform here but in spectrum analyzer only digital spectrum analyzer we have okay we can get the frequency domain signal that is spectrum we can see the spectrum frequency domain signal okay this is used to see the frequency domain signal. Okay. So I think uh, for the laboratories used in communication system, you have to use the oscilloscope and also a spectrum analyzer. Then you can get uh, familiar with those equipment. Okay. Um, so if we find, uh, if we put this AM signal, AM signal to a spectrum analyzer, we can only see this part, okay? This part like this. Actually, this is not like this, okay? So we can get like this signal, okay? We will see this kind of signal, okay? Uh, okay, so we will see it in on the lab. Okay, so what is the bandwidth? So normally we consider the transmission band transmission bandwidth as this. This is our transmission bandwidth. Okay, so normally this is our TX bandwidth. So what is that TX bandwidth? It is omega. M plus omega C minus omega C minus omega M, eh? omega C plus omega M minus omega C minus omega M. Okay, so omega C, omega C cancel this minus minus plus, then you will get two omega M. So this is the modulating frequency, and you get the bandwidth like this. Okay, so it is in FC. It is in FM, okay. It is 500, and you can uh, put it in FM form that is one kilohertz. Okay, so this is the bandwidth of the signal for our example, okay, one kilohertz. Uh, so, so, so if you have MATLAB. Uh, MATLAB uh, program, just write this uh, code, okay? And also in a word form, form also, uh, write this code, okay? Then uh, uh, you can check it and you can put some value to this i and you can check how this i is, uh, how our signal is varying according to i. And also you can introduce uh, when your arbitrary signal as this says FM, M, M, M sig modulation signal, arbitrary signal, and you can uh, see how the envelope is look like, okay? So uh, can you copy this code, okay? So in internet also, you sometimes you may find uh, similar codes, I'm not sure, okay? Because this is not a standard method in MATLAB because in MATLAB we can we have a standard method to model the modulation we have uh, one command a modulation or something okay so sometimes this code is not available in internet so can you just copy it it will be useful for you after the exam after the year exam you can see these things okay so 
we will have 10 minutes break okay then we will look because i have another uh, mail to send okay so please get 10 minutes for your 10 minutes break so we will meet that uh, 1240 again okay so i think we can only do this question we can only do this question we can't uh, go to this question okay so i will do this uh, by myself and upload the record that session okay so after 10 minutes we will see uh, what is this okay balance what is this balance modulation and BSBSC modulation. Okay. So get 10 minutes back and we will back. Okay. At uh, 240. Okay. Please copy this code. Uh,
Hey. Hey. 